Hey everybody, I'm Eric Webb, AOPA Social Media Manager. I'm about to go take a flight with Dave Hubner, a SiriusXM expert, and talk about the Garmin GDL52, SiriusXM Aviation, and how it all integrates into your electronic flight bag. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Join AOPA today. Thanks to Lightspeed for sponsoring this video. Click below to learn more about the Lightspeed Delta Zulu. Dave has the Garmin GDL52 up here on the glare shield, and he's got four flight pulled up on his iPad. Dave, why don't you go ahead and talk us through how to set that up, how to connect everything, and start using SiriusXM in the cockpit. All right, so um, basically it's a really simple device. You pulled out of your flight bag, you powered over, uh, powered on over here on your left-hand side. Uh, when you get it powered on, you go into your settings, you go to Bluetooth, you select your GDL52, which is up here at the top. It's already connected. And then I can simply go in here, go to devices. You'll see a Garmin Connects, click on that. And then basically you get the overall health of everything that's going on with the device. As you scroll through, you can see the latest updates from ADS-B. You can see the latest updates from SiriusXM. Composite radars one minute ago, lowest tilts, you know, just moments ago, and you scroll through. And then you're connected to four flights, so you've got all the weather and ADS-B information right there. Correct. One of the great things about the um, Garmin GDL52 is it's an ADS-B device, so you get ADS-B weather and traffic, so I can see other traffic going on, flying around us. Yeah. I have the option to bring up ADS-B weather, but then I also have the full complement of all the SiriusXM weather features as well. And how old is the weather data that you're receiving through that device? Uh, it varies, varies on the weather product. Um, the uh, SiriusXM Aviation Radar Composite product, uh, we send updates every two and a half minutes, but you really need to think about it um, strategically, not tactically, like you'll do with all weather products. Uh, so roughly speaking, from the time it's collected to the time it goes through the Q&A check with the meteorologist at the weather company to a push over our satellites, Think of the weather being somewhere between seven and 12 minutes old. Okay. So that it's um, an indication of where the storm may be, but you certainly don't want to go split a storm cell over it. You certainly, certainly want to see not. where it is. Look for the overall trends and directions that it's um, coming from and make your decisions accordingly. And then what about the ADSB information? Is that about as current as it can be? How old is that data? Um, ADSB basically it depends on the altitude that you're at uh, and whether you're actually able to make it accessible. Fortunately, here on the East Coast, we do have quite a few ADSB ground stations. Uh -huh. So at this altitude, um, you, you can look about 250 miles out from where you're at right now, and it'll be updating roughly at about the same update rate as um, Sirius XM Aviation's composite. Okay. When you look beyond that and start to look beyond the 250 miles, that update rate uh, is somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes old. Okay, so it's still pretty current. For, at that distance, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, know, like you don't need the most current weather at that point, but certainly if you want coast-to-coast -coast high resolution weather uh, with you know not trying to figure out how far out is that and what's the last update rate for it, SiriusXM would have the most updated and consistent information across um, the different products. Okay. But tell us about some of the other features that are there with SiriusXM. Well, the nice thing about SiriusXM is it has two different kinds of radar. It has uh, your base reflectivity, so, you know, if you're flying at less than 10,000 feet, it's more likely to show what's coming out of the bottom of the cloud. Uh, we have the composite radar product that updates every two and a half minutes. Uh, but again, that's just for the um, areas that we're able to pull information from. Uh -huh. We also have lightning information. We have air mets, sig mets, uh, METARs and TAFs. Uh, okay. Freezing levels, icing, turbulence, temporary flight restrictions. So you're obviously running all of that on a on an iPad with four flight. What other programs and devices is is this compatible with? The GDL 52 uh, and 51 will work with uh, both Garmin Pilot and four flight from an app perspective, uh, and then it'll also work with the Era 660 and 760 uh, portable weather displays. A key component that I love about Sirius XM, at least in my my ground-based vehicle, is the entertainment. And I understand that you can get that through the GDL 52 as well. Can you talk through how to do that? Correct. So um, with uh, the GDL 52 and 51, you are able to bring in. SiriusXM Music into Garmin Pilot. 
you can pick your radio stations, you can Bluetooth it to your headset, or you can put it into the aux panel of the aircraft. It's also a nice way with um, Garmin Pilot, it is a free download if you're a uh, 4Flight user. They still allow you to download Garmin Pilot at no additional cost to basically tune in your music. And then you can also, uh, on the ground, do your firmware upgrades for your hardware too. Yeah, it's smart doing that on the ground instead yes. of in flight. Yeah. So this unit also has a power adapter to be able to plug in. Correct. How, how long will it last on a single charge typically? I, I uh, jokingly say that your bladder will give out before your battery will give out, but um, <laughs> it's typically about, it's about a five hour battery, but you okay. can pull, plug it in and uh, draw ship power if you need to. Okay. One of the other nice uh, features of um, the GDL 52 is it'll actually pair two with two devices. So you and I both oh. could be flying with it, have two different, you know, looks and displays in the terms of the products that you're bringing up and things like that, which is a really nice benefit, particularly for, you know, people that want to have another uh, set of size eyes on things. And, you know, one person's looking out, the other person's able to look down. That's helpful. And you said you can pull up weather information and frequencies as well. So if we're flying to an airport somewhere and I'm saturated, test saturated, I could say, hey Dave, why don't you pull up airport XYZ and give me the, the ATIS frequency and the tower frequency. And you could do that. Yep. Um, I, we're headed to, to Martinsburg today, so I was yeah. able to bring up um, Martinsburg. I was able to get the METAR, you know, and all the other information that you would need right there. Awesome. You know, and, and one of the nice, really, really nice things about this is it's um, the fastest, easiest, best way to bring Sirius XM into the cockpit. You just power it on. Um, you know, you don't have to do any additional work on the avionics. It's just a purchase. You can get it through Sporties and have it shipped to you two, three days later, and you'll have Sirius XM weather in the cockpit the next day. That's great. The other thing that's really nice about um, the Sirius XM weather service with this is it does have a suspend program where you can subscribe for six months and then you can suspend it for six months. But the great thing is because it's ADS-B and SiriusXM, the, for the six months that you're suspending the service, not paying for it, you can still use it and get ADS-B weather and traffic. Oh, that's great. So you've talked about all the features and the, the Gar Garmin GDL 52 and the SiriusXM weather and everything. The number one thing pilots are concerned about is what's that gonna cost? So uh, the device costs just over $1,300, um, but it does come with a three-month trial. So as soon as you get it, call Sirius XM. You'll either get a pilot preferred subscription or a pilot for four flight subscription. That does include entertainment. And then basically you get it for free for three months and then you'll start to uh, subscribe thereafter. And what are, the, what are the rates for subscription either? Is it a month to month or is it an annual subscription? It, we basically do it on a monthly basis. Okay. Uh, the pilot for four flight subscription, which is ideal for four flight, right. is forty dollars a month, and then the pilot preferred subscription is uh, fifty nine dollars uh, a month. Okay. The Sirius XM is an AOPA strategic partner. So, what benefits do you offer to AOPA members? First of all, we have a uh, three month trial offer. Um, so. Basically, if you go to aopa.org forward slash Sirius XM, uh, you'll see the different offers that we have to offer. So the three-month trial offer would be there. Uh, you basically just get your radio ID from your receiver, so it doesn't matter if it's a new airplane, old airplane, push, pull, or drag it in. We will happily give you a three-month <laughs> trial on that uh, receiver. Uh, and in addition to that, um, we're really excited about this. We're getting ready to offer an exclusive member benefit with uh, Sporties with the weather courses. So Sporties has collected several different um, weather courses and we've made it available to the membership for free. It's really targeted for um, certified flight instructors and their students to get more familiar with weather information. There is some stuff about Sirius XM in there, but it's more about like the things that they will need for their private. Uh, and getting ready for that test. That's awesome.